The cells of every living organism are surrounded by membranes, consisting of opposing phospholipid pairs forming bilayers. Their surfaces are charged in the middle oily, forming a laminate. Cell membranes are thin, yet amazingly strong. Proteins are embedded within lipid bilayers. However, this view of the cell membrane is incorrect. First, the protein to lipid ratio is much higher, with two or three times as much protein to lipid by mass. Recent research is transforming the ways we think about how molecules pass in and out of cells and has important implications for many medicines. Until now, oily drugs were thought to pass easily through the bilayer. This only happens in pure bilayer membranes. However, according to Professor Kell and his colleagues, phospholipid bilayer transport in real cells is negligible. Not even water molecules pass in this way. There are few bare bilayers. Instead, to pass through membranes, drugs hitchhike on proteins, called solute carriers. Take aspirin, for example. Binding to solute carriers, it's transported into cells. Many transporters have been selected by evolution, like the transporter for ergothionine, a natural antioxidant in mushrooms. One study showed 1.5 mushroom servings a week halved the chance of mild cognitive impairment. Nine servings decreased it fivefold. But no transporter means no uptake. It's as simple as that. Some solute carriers can also remove substances from cells. These can cause resistance to anti-cancer drugs or antibiotics and can be harmful. But they also help biotech processes kick products outside the cells. Different cells contain different transporters. This determines whether a cell can take up a drug or not. There are two main reasons why drugs fail in development. Drug doses are measured at the organ level, but don't account for the details of drug uptake. Take the liver, for example. Drug uptake into all cells of liver 1 is homogeneous. In liver 2, the same amount of drug is taken up. However, one-third of the cells take up three times as much drug. Two-thirds of cells take up none. The drug won't work here because not enough is taken up in some cells, or too much drug in other cells becomes toxic. These are the two main causes behind drugs failing in development. In humans, there are over 500 types of transporters. Many of their natural substrates are unknown. To learn more, Professor Kell's team has developed methods to measure transport in and out of cells. One method is based on mass spectrometry. It can identify small molecules. Another method relies on the fact that some molecules are fluorescent. They emit different coloured light when illuminated with light of one colour. The team has a huge palette of fluorescent molecules that look like drugs. Excitingly, this research has the potential to develop new, more effectively delivered and safer drugs and biotech products.